this exhibition uh, is about uh, Auschwitz. Auschwitz, as we all know, was the worst uh, concentration turned extermination camps in the World War II that Germans set up in, uh, in Poland to exterminate Jews, communists uh, and such people that they did not like. I had visited uh, Auschwitz in um, 2018 along with my family and I had taken these photographs uh, of Auschwitz. The place is so depressing. Uh, actually, a friend of mine who uh, uh, has been to, po uh, to Poland many a times, he had told me that I should actually visit Auschwitz in the winter because then you realize how even the weather works against the people and the prisoners. I went it, uh, on a day which was quite overcast and it was a bit cold, uh, even, not definitely below zero, but uh, even still a bit cold. It was so desolate and it was so depressing when you see these buildings, when you see how uh, places where people were actually slaughtered like animals. You, it just gets to you and I've I've traveled to many different places, I've done many tours, but I've never seen uh, a location where nobody is smiling, nobody, everybody is looking depressed. And at the end of the day, uh, you come out with a very heavy heart. For, for, for me, one, the, the photograph, the, the, the image that touched me the most, and even today it haunts me, is an image of children walking to their death uh, in, in, in Auschwitz. I mean, if you take that photo out of context, it looks as if they're going out on a picnic. The reality is quite different. That has been an image that has stayed with me all, all along. And also, the so also, when you actually see, you know, the physical pile of shoes, it just conveys the enormity, the scale to you of what happened. And uh, I, I, I have never experienced uh, anything wherein humanity has been so low. So overall, it was quite, uh, in a sense, a depressing experience, but I think it's an experience that everyone... Yeah must have in whatever form and shape. And that is also one of the reasons why we have this show, because we want to share that. After I came back to India, when I was going through these photographs, and that is when the Chief Citizenship Amendment Act, the CAA, got passed. And we felt, my curators and I, we felt that there has to be a response to such, a, such an action. And we, de we found that these exhibition, this exhibition with all these photographs is a fitting reminder to people that religious fanaticism, when taken beyond certain levels, can and will result in something like this. And Auschwitz did not happen in the far too distant past. It was only 80 years ago that this happened. So we should remember in uh, we should remember in India that we sh in the, with the world that we live in now, the current situation that we live in now, where such hatred is being perpetrated world over, all across India too. We must remember Auschwitz. And it should never be, never be forgotten. That is why we do this exhibition. We had a, a commission discussion on four subjects. One particularly regarding organizing uh, uh, modern manufacturing sector workers, importance and challenges. That commission was held. Similarly, another commission on migrant workers was held. One more commission on uh, changing employment profile was also held. Similarly, like that, uh, challenges of communism to the unity of working class was also held. So, these four commissions were held parallelly on 21st uh, during this process of the conference and all delegates were equally distributed into four, co uh, four commissions and almost uh, uh, 50 to 60 comrades who participated in the commission have uh, participated in the discussion. And the paper was presented by respective comrades who were assigned to it and uh, one uh, comrade who used to chair that. So, in that discussion, several suggestions have come, practical experiences of them in the field have also come and all those uh, experiences will be reported by the rapporteurs today and it will be finalized by the future office bearers that will be elected today. So, this commission discussion has helped, enabled the comrades to have a proper understanding of the present situation that is there. Particularly, we know that during COVID period, pandemic and lockdown period, we had a bitter experience of uh, in internal migration that took place and the whole of the nation and the world has seen that. So, that issue was also discussed and how to organize them, how to meet the challenges that we have got regarding the uh, internal migration. Similarly, modern manufacturing sector is there. In that, we have to organize this modern manufacturing sector workers also. What is the importance of that and what are the challenges that are there? and how they have, uh, what are the experiences that they have got in organizing them and what are the challenges that they faced, what are the difficulties that they have faced, how they have been successful, 
all these things have been discussed in that commission similarly when uh, we see the workers are uniting and fighting including workers and peasants unity is also developing in a big way we see this challenge of communalism that is a threat to the unity of uh, working class and how to handle it and how to face it and how to resist it and how to divide uh, defeat it to see that working class is not divided so these are discussed in that uh, third commission and we see that due to this neoliberal uh, era and neoliberal policies pursued by the government and the capitalists we see that uh, the employment profile is drastically changing and this employment profile that is drastically changing has been taken note of and how to uh, organize all fragile form of employment employed people uh, precarious nature job employees employees who are there in the factories has also been addressed to it so these are the four commissions in which we have discussed and those uh, discussions that has taken place yesterday uh, will be reported today in the uh, this one delegate session We want your support in carrying on this, in order to save our right, in order to save the rights of the people of the country, in order to save our country's agriculture, and in order to save our country's self-reliance, independence, sovereignty. The attack on country's constitution has to be combated. Because we get independence through a very many sacrifice and struggle, we cannot surrender that independence in the hands of those political community who have betrayed the independence struggle, stood by the side of British at that time, and now making a flogging, fraudulent drama. Of Ajajika Amritkal. Yes, we have to define the Ajajika Amritkal by cleansing the poison of Indian society. 2023 project of the workers and prison movement is to clean the society from the poison, poisonous phases. And with that, we want to support with these few words. I conclude my submission again. Thank you. Expressing our gratefulness for your full hearted support to arrange this Mammoth 17 conference of CIQ here. Thank you. In club, Dinabar.